Looking 10 years back, it seems you've been able to convert major part of your unsatisfied customers to the happy ones. How was it different back then? Yes, this has been kind of a journey, right? Uh, well, looking 10 years back and looking at uh, the unsatisfied customers, the big issue for us before that was that we didn't actually know, knew how many unsatisfied customers we had, which is why we then started off with, uh, with Happy or Not. And the journey from there on has just been uh, amazing, uh, looking at, the, at the, the numbers year after year just increasing and knowing every time we had an increase, it's a it's more satisfied customers. That's that's just a thrill. I think one important thing is uh, it's been it's been spoken from uh, from the CEO down to our part timers in the store. So everyone is is uh, it's top of mind for everyone in the business. And when we're talking about our strategic goals, uh, actually uh, customer satisfaction and as we call it here in Elship, happy or not goal is is uh, or happy or not target. Is, is one of uh, one of those. And while taking it a bit closer to these days, uh, of course, like we have had this pandemic, but it seems that it's settling down a bit. So uh, what kind of learnings did it bring for you? First of all, we knew that the customers visiting our store in that period uh, was more or less going to buy something or purchase something because you you didn't visit the store without having a purpose there. Uh, so the browsing customers, as we call them, they of course dropped because we had the pandemic and we were told by the, the, the health uh, government that uh, we shouldn't go out in unless it was important. But then after a period, we actually saw the responses coming back. And in general, we saw more positive responses. Uh, so, so that was our learning. Uh, but you can say one thing is our customer, our uh, customers in the stores, but also our customers visiting our online business. We also saw the the, the same trend, and do, during the pandemic, we had also an increase in online customers, which is not only for us but for all retailers in that uh, in that period. It looks like kind of like despite of the channel, you are still able to improve your annual results in satisfaction again this year. So, how do you make it happen? Yeah, it's um, as I as I said before, uh, it's um, it's very much related to the general uh, attitude in the company and working towards the same goals here. And since customer satisfaction is one of our strategic goals, uh, it's being uh, addressed and spoken of so many people in the business. So it's from the part-timers in our stores to our CEO and the other way. Uh, all Every presentation we have, it's being addressed that the customers is the most important thing. It's easy for the customer to give, to provide the feedback. Uh, so those two things uh, goes hand in hand. And that's the, um, I think that's the, that's the important part of how we can, we can keep uh, improving the, uh, the level of, uh, of satisfied customers. Together with the other important partners and stakeholders, how can Happy or Not support your success going forward? Well, let's uh, let's keep the good relationship we have for now ten years to uh, many more years with the open discussions, the open dialogue, uh, very transparent things that we are sharing, because that's a benefit. For from both sides, meaning that we can share some information to you, for, with you uh, so you can improve the product in the way that we would like and the other way around, you can share some insights, some data uh, towards us. So we are able to improve our way of approaching uh, the customer satisfaction. Uh, I think that's the that's the most important thing. And so, so you as a very important vendor to us, uh, keep your your focus on on your customers in, in the right way okay very nice to hear your kind words Morton. yeah thank you <laughs> you're welcome <laughs>